If it wasn't for Levitt and Quinn, I'm not sure how we would have been able to proceed. We wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. I felt relieved to finally have somebody on my side in the courtroom. We owe them everything, we really do. They've been a blessing to us. It's a great organization with great people who are passionate about what they do and really want to help anyone that they can. They provide high quality legal services for people who truly need them and just don't have the resources to pay for a private attorney. I was babysitting my little cousin who turned out to be abandoned in my care. Jonas had major medical issues. I think within a week of being in their care, he had to have emergency surgery. He was able to join my insurance after we finalized the adoption. We're blessed that we're able to take him to the doctors he needs. My husband and I got separated at one period. He had uh, twins and I needed to adopt him because of the situation the biological mother was in. My experience with Love and Quit was, it was excellent. They helped me through the process, you know, the expenses and um, everything that, you know, I had to go through and stuff. So it was, it was very helpful. My husband tried to file a petition, adoption for my son, and um, we cannot do it because my son doesn't have a legal status here. We were able to help them finalize the adoption lawfully here so that the child could qualify for legal status. He recently became a U.S. citizen through his stepfather and he is doing fantastic. He's about to start college this semester. About seven years ago, our great-granddaughter was going to be born. Our grandson was incarcerated. The mother was incarcerated. So we called the county social worker that had worked with us and she referred us to Levitt and Quinn. We were able to continue on and get the adoption and a year ago Last uh, January, it was final. The attorneys from Levin and Quinn that went to court with us told the, the judge um, that she doesn't know the word adoption. And he said he could work around it. And he never used the word. He said it was her special day. And, and it was a dream come true. It is a God's blessing that we have her. And we're trying to do everything we can. People ask her. Here comes your grandpa or your grandma. And she says, no, that's my mom and my dad. And if it wasn't for 11 Quinn, we, we don't know where we'd be or where she would be. As a veteran who, you know, has fought for this country, you know, willing to sacrifice my life um, and save lives over lives over there as well, I feel like we should have, you know, good representation, you know, when we're trying to do the right right thing here on our own soil. I came across Levin and Quinn after about eight months of, of back and forth with uh, another nonprofit. The catalyst for that was my daughter just being snatched, you know, right out from under me. We went in for an emergency hearing, got the judge to order the child returned primarily to his care as she had been for the past year. And that was one where it just made such a huge difference because you go into court the one day and his daughter left with him that day when he hadn't seen her in over a month. And Becky, <laughs> she's like a, a pit bull in the arena. She's definitely one of the people that, that you want in the trenches fighting side by side with you. I am a vet and I served in the Marine Corps. My ex had his own issues that made us concerned with our safety and, and also what type of a parent that he could be without m me or somebody else being present. He'd been in and out of jail and during the visits she was very concerned for the safety of her children, the people that he was bringing to the visits, and just whether or not um, they were safe during that time. So we were able to go to court with her and get it ordered to be a professional monitor. Now we find ourselves in our own place with the safety and security of knowing, 
you know, what's gonna happen tomorrow. And um, it may be mundane, but it's, it's nice and it's secure. My daughter was a victim of child molestation by her father. Living in Queen helped me to um, have uh, monitored visit, visit, visitations. They can go and visit the father because they love the father no, no matter what. He's their father and um, the grandma we go all the time with them so they can all go by themselves. And I'm very thankful with living in Queen for all the help they provide me. Parents find out sometimes kids that they've raised for years and had in their home for years and loved and taken care of, that they have absolutely no legal rights to them. The other parent takes the child out of state or worse, out of the country. And I, and I can sleep, uh, I stress, my, my head, crying. The mother did come to court and was ordered to bring the child back to Los Angeles immediately. And she complied with the order. Me and my husband got divorced 10 years ago. We had an agreement that he was gonna take my oldest son. She had an 11-year-old special needs uh, child and a 14-year-old who was in uh, grave trouble at school. He was getting suspended. I was trying to get communication with the father and we were supposed to work together. He wouldn't let me know what was going on at the school. She needed help talking to the father. Um, they, they needed to somehow be able to work together to save their son. I was really stressed out until that point that I had someone there, Amanda, my attorney, showing up and representing me, and, and we got, I was able to get custody of my two sons. Helping people who otherwise wouldn't be able to access help is something that's just always been at the heart of who I am. It can really make such a big difference for them, and so when it makes a difference for them, it really kind of pumps us up. The feeling in my heart is all fresh because helping me in everything. It's been an amazing experience and I certainly would recommend them to anybody. They need more uh, law firms like this. They really do. Something like this to help just the, the regular working person. Many people don't get informed or they don't know about these programs or these organizations who help families. When somebody walks through our door and needs help, we get together and we figure out a way to help this person. It feels good as an attorney to have that attitude as a firm, um, and I like being a part of that.